the car, though. That's uh, uh, a competition that I was in uh, 10, 12 years ago, took second, so I guess. <laughs> you see, boys and girls, you can fuck up and still do well. But he's very funny, and please welcome Mr. Jake Johansson. Come out here. Thank, thank you very much. I'm, uh, I'm Jake Johansson, and uh, I'm originally from Iowa. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm very excited to be here tonight, and uh, everything. I'm very excited to be out of Iowa, basically. Uh, it took a long time for me to realize that we were free to go, and... No, I'm not, and I'm very happy. Both, uh, both my parents are still back in, in Iowa. My father is actually the mayor of our town. You know, it's a kind of a, a pretty s small town, so eventually everyone gets to be the mayor. But uh, he's, a, he's the mayor right now. Actually, they like the mayor by radio. And so last year, Dad was the fifth caller. And we're, 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 we're very proud of him, you know. He, he's a quick dialer, and no one can take that away from him. Uh, so... I, I, I used to love all the fun things. But people ask people ask me all the time, Jake, because that's my name. Uh, that's Jake. Where where do you get your sense of humor? And, and I tell them that's my uh, my father, also named Jake. Coincidentally, uh, well, not really a coincidence. We're all named Jake in Iowa. Um, but he was uh, he would joke around with us all the time. That's what this one time we're in the car on vacation. You know, we're going about 60 miles an hour to the Badlands or so. It was a great trip. And uh, I lean up. I go, Dad, are we there yet? And he goes, yeah, Jake, we're there. How about? You know, I want to get her. Uh, it's just so funny. My feet are going like crazy. And uh, he yanks me back in the car. It was a joke, you idiot. And uh, it was, uh, you know, a lot of lo love between us. But uh, that's the kind of guy he was. He would, he would joke around and then be serious. So, but, you know, he, had, he, would, he would, did fun things for us, too. He always made us... He wanted us to go to church with the neighbors to see what uh, their church was like. And uh, our neighbors uh, were Catholic. And so I had a pretty good, pretty good time. I think other Catholic people are here tonight, aren't they? Yeah. They're very excited about being Catholic. Um, that's, that's good. I had a good time, you know, because our, our church was a congregational church, which is not really a big deal. I mean, you just go, you sit there, la, la, we're at church. That was about the Catholic church. It's like a, sh a show, you know, right away. You're a puppet. Stand, sit, kneel, sit, pray, sing, sit, stand. And uh, it's like, uh, it was a calisthenic kind of a thing. I, I, I felt like I actually lost weight at the Catholic church. And, uh, and that was good. Now, we just, oh, we went to church with our neighbors now in San Francisco, right across the street, you know, and uh, it's, it's like a weird cult where in the, the Church of the American Standard. And in their church, they believe that Jesus actually slipped in a tub. And <laughs> that's their Easter story. And <laughs> so they, they explained it to me a few times, you know, evidently, according to them, the Last Supper, Everyone's having a glass of wine, right? Which seemed to make pretty good sense, you know? And Jesus is having a couple of glasses of wine, they said, which, you know, he had a big day the next day, kind of wanted to be loose. And uh, <laughs> they're going to crucify him for Christ's sake. So uh, he's throw throwing him back, and uh, then, then he decides, you know, uh, I, I better take a shower, because it was a big day the next day, and he wanted to look good for the pictures and what have you. And, it, you know, it took a long time for his hair to dry. And so... <laughs> He goes to take a shower, and the, the disciples keep eating the food because they were supposed to finish all of it, you know. And uh, then all at once, a big thud in the bathroom. They hear this th this huge thud. No, no one knows exactly what happened. No one was actually in the bathroom, but uh, there's a soap theory. And uh, so they hear this thud, and the disciples, the, the disciples get up and rush to the bathroom, all of, except for Judas, who like, makes a sandwich and takes off. And uh, they. Uh, so, thank you very much. Uh, so, they, they get to the bathroom, and they see, uh, they see it's all over. Jesus in the tub, and it looks awful. And the disciple, their minds are racing a mile a minute, the disciple, because they know that later they have to write the Bible. And uh, 
they just, you know, you can imagine, big long book, then he slips in a tub. Uh, <laughs> bad ending. And because uh, the Bible wasn't really meant as a Mickey Spillane twist uh, thriller book. And so they said, we, we better just, uh, just cover up Watergate style, put the cross in. And uh, so... I like that much better than the tub people. In their, in their church, they actually have a big tub right above the priest. And uh, it's so silly, you know, for the baptisms, he'll get down the little th thing and spray the baby and then put it back up there. And it's so, it's so funny. And well, then, then, when, then when they pray, it's the, instead of the sign of the cross, you know, when they pray, every, everybody in the, in the church, the tub people, they all go, whoa, like that. And uh, they, you know. And they, 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 well, it's, it, it, instead of a cross, they've all got that soap on a rope, and uh, it, it's just too silly. Anyway, thank you very much. I, I'm Jake Johansson. Uh, good night. Thank, thank you.